dancing session this morning already um it's actually not morning it's like one ish um yeah i'm having a lazy day i can admit it it's all right i did so much yesterday you guys i cleaned and i organized and i have some still that i need to do today i'm not done but i've definitely just been taking it easy i am so ready for summer i'm ready for the kids to be out of school for summer. Are you ready for summer? <laughs> yeah. I'm just ready. My life is so much less complicated when they're out of school. And I know that sounds crazy. Like you would think, well, wouldn't you want a break, you know, while they're in school? No, it's not a break. It's not because I have IEP meetings. I've got to get them to and from school. I have to meet buses. <laughs> I have Oh, therapies, all this other stuff. Granted, therapy will continue throughout the summer and therapy will definitely be complicated because it means taking all four kids to therapy with me. But <clears throat> I don't know. I think it'll be okay. It'll be fine. It'll all be good. Also, I'm going to start going to the gym this weekend. I We have had a gym membership for a long time and my husband's been going every single day and I just haven't wanted to like discourage that or like keep him from going because he really like wants to be there and really needs to be there right now um, because we're both trying to lose weight and get healthier um, we are both aware that we are a little bit on the heavier side or a lot of it on the heavier side um, we're just trying to get healthy and work out and eat better and eat at home we're not eating out as much i think we're eating out maybe one or two times a month maybe um other than that we're eating at home which means I'm meal planning and I'm doing all of this other kind of stuff which is also why we're starting our own garden this summer so we can have our own fresh vegetables and all that it's a process though it really is and I think it's extra frustrating knowing where we were this time last year like this time last year I was 30 pounds lighter than I am right now because I'd been going to the gym and working hard at it and consistently eating right and I just haven't been doing that lately so I need to get back to it also guys, I wanted to address the fact that Zoe now has her own channel. So I've been getting kind of a lot of, I don't know, I don't know if they're necessarily controversial questions, but I've been getting a lot of questions. Like, how is that safe? How does a seven year old have her own YouTube channel? Um, that's not a good idea, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's been a long time coming, you guys. Since she was six, she has wanted her own YouTube channel. Like she's been wanting to do this and she asks me probably at least once a week for the last like two years. <laughs> Mom, can I have my own YouTube channel? I want it to be about toys. I want it to be about playing with toys. I want it to be on toy reviews. Like she just has a plan and a vision for her own channel. Y'all, there's like a smudge. There's a smudge on you guys. Um, and I finally just was like, you know what? She's almost eight. I think that's old enough. Granted, I help her film. I help her edit and I strictly monitor her YouTube page. All of her comments are gonna be on comment approval. She's never allowed to just sit and peruse YouTube on her own free will. Um, I'm always sitting right there with her whenever she is on YouTube. So it is very closely monitored. I don't want you guys to think that I just set my kid free on YouTube and was like, go have at it, you know, do what you wanna do. 
absolutely not it does not work like that she is seven years old and she needs supervision and help with it so technically I guess you could say it is a it's Zoe and my YouTube channel however it is all her creation. It is all from her imagination. I do not tell her what she has to do. Um, as long as I think it's age appropriate, I let her do it. Um, so that's kind of how it is. And it's kind of unfortunately put my own personal channel, the other one I was gonna start in addition to this one, on hold. It's kind of just inevitably put it on hold because I really wanted to kind of give her channel my all for a little while and try to make her channel a little bit successful. Um, you know, I don't know that she's gonna make any money off of it. I have no idea. But if she ever gets to that point, that is an amazing way to save up money for her college. That's an awesome way to set things aside for her so she can do art classes or other fun things that she wants to do. Um, so I kind of only see the positives in it. Um, and I think as long as it is monitored and you know my husband and I are staying on top of things, totally, totally fine. And she's really enjoying it, y'all. She loves it. She's got one video up. It's a little silly. And I also wanted to tell you guys, I'm sorry, I'm so chatty. I'm sorry if you guys are like not interested in this, just skip ahead, cause I'm sorry. Um, I gotta rinse out my coffee cup because it is a coffee kind of day. Um, I, I wanted to tell you guys too, while I would love for you guys to go and subscribe to her channel, she would love the support, but I also want to ask that don't subscribe if you don't plan on actually watching her videos long term. I don't mean that to be mean, I'm just saying she needs subscribers that are going to be really like interested in the content that she's posting and it's cute and funny but come on not everyone is interested in watching a child play with toys I mean it's just not everyone's cup of tea and that's okay um, but I don't want you guys to feel obligated that you have to go and subscribe um, only subscribe if you are interested so no pressure on my end I don't want you guys to feel I don't want you to feel like my feelings are gonna be hurt if you guys don't go subscribe to her because I do understand trust me anyway that is said, I am going to work on a little bit of editing and drink some coffee. Y'all, my house is clean. So it's like, I don't have anything to do, which is kind of awesome. Um, I do need to clean my husband and I's bedroom and bathroom. But other than that, and I need to do laundry, okay, because the laundry just never ends. But other than that, my house is pretty clean. Other than the mess keys just made. It's cleaner than normal, let me just put it that way. This boy is listening to music and has been talking and talking and talking and talking and wanting to be on camera, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what are you eating? Cookies. Cookies? Yeah, you're eating animal cookies, aren't you? Oh, I turned on the camera, right? This thing's got super loud. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> So Piper has soccer practice today. Well, I forgot what I was gonna say. My husband's like, great start. Um, Piper has soccer practice today. We signed them up about a month and a half ago and we kept like waiting and waiting, like, okay, we're gonna hear something. They're gonna let us know when practice is. They're gonna let us know what, you know, equipment we need, yada, yada, yada. Well, we never heard anything and we started wondering. So today I called and asked them when is soccer like we haven't gotten a message or an email or anything and he's like oh it started last week we we're like okay great so they've already missed a week um he apologized profusely he was very nice about it but it's still a little frustrating so piper does not have soccer cleats she does not have shin guards we do have a soccer ball and shorts <laughs> so we're just gonna work with what we got but we figure it's better for her to go without some of her equipment than to miss a second week because we didn't intend to miss the first week. So, and then Zoe has hers on Wednesdays. So Tuesdays, you guys are gonna be crazy hectic because we're gonna have therapy and soccer. It'll be okay though, we'll make it work. This little boy's ready, except for shoes. Except for shoes. He's, he's wearing daddy's helmet. <laughs> I'm not sure, this is the field
We got back from soccer. Um, Piper did really well. I was super impressed with her. I thought she really had good control over the ball and she just did really awesome. Why are there two drinks? I don't know, I'm just gonna drink one. I'm not supposed to drink that though. Um, <clears throat> anyway, we're getting off track. But... Where did I go? He's at the gym. He got on a motorcycle and left. No, he was moving. He was moving parking places. Oh, to get closer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you will see Piper playing soccer in the vlog. Yes, I, they just saw it. <laughs> you all just saw it. Anyway, uh, she got home though and she's not feeling too good. She kind of, we were in the car and she's like, Mommy, I have a really bad headache, I have a bad headache. And she's just kind of been laying in there on the floor. Oh gosh, y'all, my hair, what on earth? Um, she's just been laying in there on the floor and not feeling too great. So I don't know if she ran and got like way overheated or what the deal was, but she was totally fine while she was at soccer. But anyway, Aiden, what's wrong? You getting upset? Um, this little boy has passed his bedtime and I think he's a little, he's starting to feel it. It's about an hour past when he normally goes to bed, huh? Yeah, I think we're all a little tired. He ate dinner though. You ready to go night night, Aiden? Aiden! You ready to go night night? Nosh nosh? He's like, I have a cabinet, Mom. Leave me alone. 